Is it on now? Well, I'm still reading my book, so you'll just have to... Hi! <laughs> you look hot. I'm reading this book. It's called... Uh, a book's like a big papery blog. I, uh, it's, uh, it's by Lauren uh, Weiss, Weissberger or Weissberger, depending on how you say this. And <laughs> it's about... Uh, it's, you know, it's about things and stuff. Uh, and... Chateau Marmont, that's where all the celebrities go. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Jeff and I have never been there. <laughs> that's the, the big hotel in town where you, the showbiz people go and they all look at each other and sometimes they have sex with each other and stuff. <laughs> why, why is that funny? They I don't know. I think the idea of celebrities having sex is, is, is insanely entertaining to a lot of people. <laughs> I think because the idea of you see someone, uh, you know, on TV and their face is very famous, but you never get to see their junk. Yeah. Um, yeah. Unless they're in certain... Uh -huh. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> Gee. That lady figured it out audibly. Yeah, yeah. She uh -huh. was like, aha! Uh -huh. She was like a detective from an old-timey movie. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's how you know you were in trouble if you were a criminal in old-timey movies, because you could hear the detective yeah, say, yeah. Aha! Aha, so that's what the celebrity ah. genitalia look like. Right, no. Do you think celebrity genitalia is different from uh, regular people genitalia? Sure, yeah, a little bit. In what way? A little, a little more uh, international? Yeah, I think they've got, like, little capes. Little what? Little capes. I know a little guy capes? that capes. Yeah, little capes. Capes? Yeah. Cape? Yeah, a little cane, a little cape, sure. Yeah. A cane and a cape? Yeah. What you, that sounds like uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde yeah, you're man. talking about. Oh, my genitals are a bit like Dr. Yeah, Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Because there's mild-mannered Dr. Jekyll, and then there's angry and evil Mr. Hyde. <laughs> I like Mr. Hyde. It's going to be a classy show tonight, I think. Yep. We'll be right back. with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Applebee's new Take-Two menu. Two seasonal favorites, one amazing plate. See you tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. sounding a little bit sarcastic now, if you don't mind me saying so. Like, I asked you to stop, and you're like, no, no, we don't want to stop. And I'm like, yes, you do. Want I can see it in your dead eyes. they got dead eyes, man. Well, you've got dead eyes. The hell, man. Well, de dead, dead, uh, yes. You, you, you're dead. You're going to have dead eyes. Dead and lovely. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just complimenting my eyes. Uh, you're complimenting your own eyes? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Who do you think you are? Yeah, I'm a self centered robot, man. Kiss my ass. <laughs> you know, I love it when you talk like that. Yeah, I know you do. You dirty little boy. You dirty little boy. You're a dirty little no, boy. You're a dirty, you're a dirty little boy. Who's, who's Sorry, boy? everybody. Yeah. Sorry, we've got a show to do. Creepy. Sorry, things got a little steamy there. Uh oh, my nipples went crazy. <laughs> 
Thank you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, oh, it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> I tell you, it is. It is, of course. It's Friday. Oh, Friday's the day. I love Friday. Friday's the day. I, I go like this on Fridays. Yeah. And I do that as well. Ooh. What was that? It's another thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now, do you know what happened, though, this week? That a man in Wisconsin pleaded guilty to having sex with a couch. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even know that was a crime. <laughs> What is the statute of limitations on that? Because I think I might be in trouble. Yeah. yeah. He's having sex with a couch. Like, if you, if you were at home on a couch and uh, uh, you... <laughs> on your couch and you had... If you have sex on your couch on your own, is that having sex with a couch? No, no. So you have to use the couch in some way sexually? That's correct. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm in trouble. I think yeah. I... Yeah. He, I, how do you get arrested for that as well? Does someone come into your house and go, what's going on here? <laughs> Couch patrol, ha! <laughs> Furniture vice squad. Couch patrol? Yeah, like couch that. patrol, yeah. I knew it. You've been having sex with this. What kind of couch was it? It was a leather couch. <laughs> we, got a, we got a cushion violation yeah. here. <laughs> I don't know. Some couches are, you know, their fabric's quite, uh, you know, if you electricity, if you rub against. Yeah, it. yeah, you could. Which uh, might, might be, might be fun. Yeah, sure. <laughs> might be worth the time in the big house, apparently. <laughs> I, I wonder what the sentence is for having sex with a couch. Man. You're, you're sentenced to go home and think about what you've done. <laughs> in his defence, he said he thought it was a love seat, but still. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what happened in Britain this week? Uh, in Brit you know Britain, the kind of pee anyone? Well, they were, uh, you know, Britain, you know, Doctor Who, oh, Britain, uh, you know, Hogw Hogwarts, Harry yeah, Potter, right, Britain. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Thank thanks, Gryffindor. The, uh, <laughs> you know, Britain, you know what I'm talking about? We all fight them on the beach. It's Britain. Yeah. You know, yeah. mop top, lovely, you know, to, 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 to love you, love you. Oh, yeah. You don't actually sing the song because we can't afford it. That. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. You know, Britain. Anyway, in Britain this week, <laughs> there was a massive uh, hit on TV. It was a documentary. Now, a documentary is it's like a reality show, but it's classy. <laughs> it's, it's about something. <laughs> Television show about something. It's an old-fashioned idea. But anyway, look, that's what it was. It's a documentary. Four million people in Britain, which is the entire population of Britain. <laughs> I know it's not, and I look forward to your angry letters <laughs> arriving by owl. <laughs> How dare you? There's over 70 million people in Britain and not 4 million. How dare you? Ah! <laughs> Craig, I was enjoying my bangers and mash this morning when I saw that you said 4 million. I said, how great of Dear sir, I was having sex with my couch, which is legal in Britain. <laughs> I'm a professional chimney sweep, but I'll have you know. <laughs> I was having sex with my settee. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, four million people uh, in Britain watched the documentary, uh, and the documentary was about a man who has 140 pound testicles. <laughs> I know! <laughs> I tried to find it on YouTube as well. I can't find it yet, but it's a, it's a documentary. <laughs> well, you do want to see it, don't you? You want to see that. You're like, I, I have to see this. Oh, yeah. Get me his number. <laughs> It's big. It's a yeah. big number. Yeah. <laughs> but the TV executives are stunned by the high ratings. The president, the president of the BBC said, it's just nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I did? Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, it's all going to be testicle TV in Britain now. They're going to have, uh, like, the producers of Downton Abbey announced the, newer, the newest cast member. Yeah. Baron Von Testicles. <laughs> <laughs> I say, Lady Mary, have you seen Baron Von Testicles? <laughs> Very strange moustache she has. <laughs> <laughs> also, a very large, oddly shaped nose. Have you noticed his nose? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's I, the Baron von Testicles. Oh, Baron. Baron von Testicles, how lovely to see you. And you seem excited to see me. Yes, I'm, I'm just dropping by. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I see what you did. You're dropping by because... Your testicles. <laughs> I can't. 
understand what this, how this documentary can... I mean, how do you make an hour of television about 140-pound testicles? I think it can be done. Uh, well, I suppose... <laughs> yeah. What the hell was I going to talk about? Oh, yeah, the, uh, the, there's two big movies open today I'm very excited about. The Heat and White House Down. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, they'll be great because The Heat stars Sandra Bullock and White House Down stars Channing Tatum. Sandra Bullock, Channing Tatum, very different, of course. <laughs> one's a sweetheart who can play sassy and sexy and still be a little vulnerable, and the other one's Sandra Bullock. There, I did it. Yeah. I did it. Yeah. I did it. That was the uh, that was the joke I had prepared for the evening. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that was bad, was it? Yeah, that was I good. Mean, but... it, it follows a formula, you yeah. know. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. It's a thing. This is what I would do if my testicles weighed 140 pounds. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do it. It would just start, and I wouldn't be able to stop it. <laughs> be like one of those things that click together, you know, on your desk. Yeah, yeah. What are they called? Kind again? of a pendulum sort of thing, maybe. Well, a pendulum, yeah, certainly. Sure. <laughs> Testicles swing like a pendulum do. You could make a movie, the, the Pit and the Testicles. Be a good movie. You went too far, man. <laughs> Sorry. There's a little glimpse into my private life. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> well, uh, well, we told her a joke, and it wasn't great, but, uh, you know, it follows the late night tradition of uh, come out, tell a joke. Yeah, no. Well, not, not come out, obviously. Um, <laughs> Still no. waiting for all the other late night guys to do that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be pretty good, wouldn't it? That's it. I got something to say. <laughs> I just, I just like to come out. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you talk about getting big ratings at yeah. late night. Wow. Yeah, that would. What if Dave and Jay got married? <laughs> Le legally in California. Holy crap. That would be awesome. <laughs> Let's make it happen, people on Twitter. <laughs> We can do this. Yeah, no, yeah. we no, we can. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, it's commercial break time. Quickly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. You're watching The Late Late Show. One's a potty mouth late night douche automaton and the other's a robot. to the AHA show, <laughs> where we're celebrating the work of AHA. Remember AHA? AHA. AHA, the Norwegian uh, new wave group. Oh, Remember? yeah, take uh, on me. Take on me. Don't sing the actual right. song or we have to pay for it. <laughs> so, when you sing a song on TV, you can't sing the actual song or you have to pay for it. So you have to sing a slightly different song, right. but right. let people know it's the song. Right. For example, take on me, take me on. Me, or... you, or me. <laughs> it What's could that? be me or you. What the hell are you doing, Just man? Just take it on. <laughs> I'm sorry for smoking my pipe, but I won an award. Ceases to amaze me that if you say to an audience you won an award, they will give you a round yeah. of applause. It doesn't even matter if the award is for biggest douche on earth. Yeah. Like, oh, did you, oh, you won the award. Well, congratulations. <laughs> uh, what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who won an award. Won an award? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Uh, you want to do a tweets and emails jingle? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> tweets and emails. <laughs> this is from Rowena in uh, Newark, New, New Jersey. You ever been there? Oh, good people. Good oh, place. that's a great town. You know what they've got there is the... Uh, the th what's that thing again? The, uh, tires. Tires, yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Craig and Jeff. Is your show a little strange or is it just me? You. 
This is from David in Athens, Georgia. I don't know if you can tell, but David uh, lives on top of a hippo. Mm. Mm. Uh, he says, what kind of suspenders go with a white suit? Um, what? <laughs> Why would you wear... Is he a clown or something? Yeah, I don't... A red... What does he want? What does what, he want from yeah, us? What do, you, what, do you, what do you want from me? I can't be talking to you. I won an award. <laughs> This is, uh, this is from uh, Lewis in St. Louis. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, Craig, do you believe that good people eventually win out over evil people? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Tooth fairy Santa Claus. Uh, <laughs> this is from uh, Margo in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Dear Craig and Jeff, I'm thinking of visiting Southern California at the end of the summer. Any suggestions? You'll want to see the man with the 140-pound testicles. <laughs> Correct, Jeff? Yeah, that's correct, Craig. Uh, this is from Roberta from Saskatchewan, uh, which is in Canada. Yeah. How do we get to Canada, Jeff? How do we get to Canada? Well, we go up to Minneapolis, mm -hmm. we go through the wardrobe, and there it is. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, Roberta from Saskatchewan, don't you think Jeff deserves a new suit and tie after all these years? Yeah, what the hell, man? Well, me first. I want a new suit first. I've been wearing the same suit since we uh, started. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, it started okay. tonight. Yeah. Right. Uh, I've been wearing this suit since Wednesday, anyway. Yeah, well, I, I tell you that. I've got on this Bob Barker hand-me-down thing, and I like to change By it. the way, a Bob Barker hand-me-down is code for something. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and let me tell you, the price is right. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, we have no time. Very quickly, oh. we'll have to do these quickly. So quickly. Quickly, there's no time. There's Read no time. the quickly, tweets. Quickly. 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 There's no time. The Matthew in Lake Hiawatha, New Jersey, he says, Hi, Craig and Jeff. I wanted to surprise... If you wanted to surprise your... Oh, I can't read this. I know. Uh, <laughs> this is from Lacey in Fram... Oh, I can't read this. Uh, all right, we've got to go. We'll be right back. <laughs> guests tonight are the greatest band in the world. They won an award. Their album Rise of the Phoenix is out now. Jack Black and Kyle Gass. Good evening. That's when you know when the thing gets torn up right out of the gate. Oh, right out of the yeah. gate. That's, That's when you know you're in rock and roll. <laughs> well, rock and roll, maybe the last time you guys were here it was jazz. That's true, but we, we got rid of the jazz. We're thank back back the to Lord. the rock and roll. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Oh, no, listen. What, you didn't like the jazz? Don't cheer because you hate jazz. It's still one of the great, great genres. We're not saying we hate jazz. <laughs> We're just saying we didn't sell a lot of albums. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that would be jazz, all right. <laughs> and so the new album, Rise of the Phoenix, it's, yeah. uh, it's, it's censored in the front. Why? Oh. Mm. Well, I'm enjoying doing this, but tell me <laughs> why this is censored. <laughs> Apparently, some people thought the phoenix uh, looked like a, a part of the male anatomy. I don't know what they're talking about. I know. Oh, yeah, so it does, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Only if you kind of do that, like, you know, is, is it... There's a lot of religious stuff on this, isn't it? There's some... What, no, no, not too much. We're not, like, you know, heavy metal Satanists, but... There's well, like... it says, not for children or religious people, which means... <laughs> Wait, yeah, that's... You know what I mean. If that's you're super clear. religious, then you don't want to see... 
you know, a Look, Phoenix. if you're super religious, you don't want to see Tenacious D anyway, do you? You know, you're not going to like, <coughs> got to get home from church, you. honey. Tenacious D are on tonight. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we got some pretty passionate jams. We rock to the heavens occasionally. Yeah. Our next album, we've talked about it. It could be like a, you know, a born again album. I don't yeah, know. We... You never know what we're going to do. We could be the next striper. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, wait. It's not like he won an award. Uh, <laughs> are you guys, uh, you guys getting along all right still? Everything okay? I mean, I'm sensing a certain frosty body language. Oh, well, I... you're setting, sensing frostiness? Yeah, it's a little bit. Yeah, yeah, because Kyle's kind of like looking. Every time you turn around, he looks like you with hatred. And then you look back and he's fine. I always suspected you. Yeah, no, that. it's kind of like, you, you know, look at me and then Kyle's like, I hate him. And then, you know, I, see, no, I can see. No. I'm... It's mostly love. It's like 90% love. But it's, you know, we're like brothers, and, and like all brothers, there's a little bit of hatred in there. There's a, there's a constant competition for, like, who's right and who's better and who's stronger and who's faster. <laughs> of course, we're both slow as snails. But... <laughs> That's true. You should, get, uh, you should get therapy, couples therapy. For real? Yeah, I think you should. And I'll, I'll do it. I'll be your therapist right now. Would you wow. Yes, yes, absolutely. Let's do it. Yes. yes. Yeah. All right. We've talked about this yeah. a lot. Right, well, I, I'll do, I'm qualified to do this because I used to drink to blackout. All right. <laughs> Apparently that makes you a therapist. And then they, they give you a diploma? Uh, the... Sort of, yeah, it'll be fine. I, an award, actually. So, um... Okay. Here, I think I know the language of, uh, of uh, therapy. Mm-hmm. I feel bad when I feel that Jack's being overly controlling. <laughs> wait, wait, Jack, before you answer. Why? <laughs> Why do you feel bad when Jack's been overly controlling? Do you, do you want it to dominate Jack? I feel left out of the process, I believe. <sighs> Jack, do you, do you think that Kyle is uh, being valid here? Are, are you leaving him out of the process? I feel like Kyle doesn't give me credit for allowing him into the process. <laughs> I'm, I mean... Okay, yes, I have some uh, control issues. I like to control everything. For instance, I wasn't stoked about what he was wearing, but I allowed it to happen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, you see, right here. Can you see how, Jack, that allowing Kyle to wear what he wants isn't really appropriate? That, that Kyle lives in America. He's an American citizen, and he can wear anything he damn well pleases. Yeah. And, yeah. and you are, you're forcing, you're harshing him. Okay, get and, 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 and Kyle, can you see that wearing orange is ridiculous? <laughs> can you see? No, that's, that, so not, that's not what I'm saying. I what? mean, what I want him to wear is way more ridiculous. This is kind of safe, you know? The real cage I know comes out in like a shredded, tattered, old, crazy ragamuffin, but he doesn't want to let that out. <laughs> Did you just say ragamuffin? <laughs> that was just the first thing that came to my head. Yeah, but I mean, that's like a word from the 19th century. I isn't know, it? but I'm not a big fan of long pauses to find the right word. I'm just like, just spit it out, whatever the hell it is. Now, that's going to get in the way in communication, because if you just choose a word at random, then train tracks and bananas. Craig, I love you. But I gotta say something. I'm afraid we're gonna run out of time and you're not gonna let us talk about why we're really here. Is this wrong? Is that wrong? Y no, oh. that's exact. That's... I feel horrible already. No, I'm no, like no. taking over control of the show. No, no, no. I... <laughs> it it's it actually issue. was my plan to not allow you to talk about why <laughs> you were here. All right. Yeah. No. Yeah, so, uh, so what's going on, guys? So look, we got this album. <laughs> Yeah, we have this album. It's not really a new album. It's been out for a year. What we're really doing here is trying to spread the word about a new festival that we have created. I didn't know that. Yeah, called Festival Supreme, and we're very proud of it and excited about that it. It sounds like an ice cream dish. Exactly. <laughs> festival hey, Supreme. Don't knock the title. That was, like, the main thing. It's like, what are we going to call the festival? It took us, like, months oh. to figure out the perfect name was Festival Supreme. Yeah, yeah, no, it's... You put the Supreme at the end. Yeah, no, clearly. Uh, now, wh wh where, where is it? It's at the Santa Monica Pier. 
mm -hmm. which is right here. For those of you who don't live in Los Angeles, it's a gorgeous pier right on the beach. Yeah, it really is. And it's a, it's a, it's a Bill, sweet, uh, sweet destination where you want to go and party. Here's an interesting fact about Santa Monica Pier. You know in the movie Titanic? Yeah. But he says, one day we'll go to Santa Monica Pier and drink beer. Did he say that? Yeah, yeah, he, oh he says that, and they're going to make it to, New to all the way to California, and they're going to drink beer. But, but Santa Monica Pier wasn't built until after the Titanic. Uh, Whoops. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And yet they won an award. <laughs> a lot of them. Yeah. But let me so just, who's in the festival okay. then? Who's doing it? Let me just drop some names on right, you. Well. We got uh, Maya Rudolph, incredible what comedic talent. She's got a band called Princess. They play all Prince covers, and it's hilarious and, wow. and awesome. We got Craig Robinson and his I band. I love him. The Nasty Take Delicious. We got <laughs> Eric Idle, legendary legend. Python Idle? Yeah, from Monty Python. Wow. Uh, he sings incredible songs. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Someone here. Yeah. We got Sarah Silverman going to kick She's out the jam. She's hilarious. And like That's adorable. 20 other incredible comedy and music legends. I can't say them all. but um, Is that because you can't remember them all, Jack? That? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, also, may I ask you, by the way, did, did you come directly from the grocery store? Why have you got... Oh, Kyle's footing or my... my oh, no, no you have a oh, bag. Oh okay, God. I'm sorry, I brought my bag. This is... Uh, my orthodontist is kind of like a stalker. He is so obsessed with you. He loves your show. You're kidding. And no, and, I, and every time I go to get my teeth fixed, he talks, talks to me about Craig Ferguson, and uh, he gave me this... <laughs> To get, he's actually here. Are you here? No way. Where are you? Where, where's Dr. Dan Growler? Oh, Dr. Dan! Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Doc. He's um. He's from Spain. And from he's, Spain. If you ever need any orthodontic work. I do actually, Doc. I, I need an implant down at the back here. Check out my yeah. chakras if you don't believe me. Uh -huh. Nice. Yeah. My teeth were so messed up. But anyway, he knows that you have a white one of these, and he w thought maybe you'd like this one, too. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's like serious, though. He's got, he's got that exact mug at his house. I've been to his house. We had dinner. And he drinks from that mug when he's at home, because Greg Ferguson. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I want you to tell the puppet why you're angry at Jack. <laughs> why are you angry at Jack, Kyle? Huh? Sometimes he makes me feel insecure about myself. I know. <laughs> does he try to tell you what to wear? He, he does, and I just want to be free to express myself. But just go and express yourself, girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bunny. I think we all learned something. I, uh, we're out of... <laughs> it's fine. Oh, no, I'm not fine. I've been hurt. Oh, it's fine. No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> We're, we're, but you're going to play for us. You're going to come back and play a song, right? If you don't mind, we'd yeah. like to kick off a little... We'd like to finish the show with a rock and jam. Yeah! <laughs> Let's take a break. Yeah. Join us after the break for Moon and Blood and then after that for Tenacious Day. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Welcome back. My next guest is a beautiful actress. She won an award! Yeah. I said award and there's a girl in the front row. She's like... <laughs> I don't believe she won an award. I think it's just the thing you're doing. <laughs> she won an award and her show, Falling Skies, is on Sundays. The best day in television. <laughs> It's on TNT. Take a look at this. Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> Moon blood good, everybody. Moon blood good. You look 
sensational. I love your glasses. Thank you. I'm and, trying. And, and I love your... Is that orange? That's my favorite color. Orange? Coral? I don't know. <laughs> is it orange or, or maybe some sort of peach? I feel like it's sort of salmon. I don't know. Orange? It's not salmon. It is kind of a salmon-y thing. May I, I, may I touch you it? You can touch it. All right. If you like it. Wow, that's really interesting. It feels sort of like a couch. Oh. <laughs> that's me. That's what I feel like. I feel like a couch. It does feel a little... It's a slight... It's a... <laughs> Do that, do that again, do that. See? Oh. Uh, um, no, I... The, it's it's like, leather. It's, it's leather. That's what I was going to say. Is, is it leather or pleather? I think it's leather. Oh, my right. God, I'm going to get in so much trouble for wearing leather. Right? No, no, no you're, not for me. <laughs> uh, especially when you pulled it down a little bit and it made that noise. That's a good noise. Sexy. I don't know if you can hear that noise at home, but it kind of goes... You're nice, funny. and your glasses, my goodness. Thank you. My mom didn't like that I was wearing my glasses. Why? I don't know. I'm trying I've... to look smart. <laughs> you, do, you do look smart. Thank you. You, you look very smart Thank you indeed. for not saying anything mean about that comment. <laughs> well, you, or you are smart. Thank you. Clearly, Thank you wore you. salmon. Thank you. I did. Are you I... very smart? Did you go to college? I didn't go to college, no. Well, neither did I, and I'm smart as a whip. You are so <laughs> smart. Yeah. I, I don't feel like, I mean, I guess, you know, what are we called? Street smart, which just means you're not smart. But. No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, there's lots of people who are smart that didn't get a college degree. Winston Churchill, for example. Wow, he didn't go to college? Who I don't know. I made it up. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> he, no, he went to college, but he wasn't very good. Uh, okay, he seems you know. like a smart guy. Did you drop out of high school? Nope, I finished high school and then I became a Laker girl. So. Oh, that. <laughs> that. That's. That's that's. That kind of, is school. That is kind that of a is school. school. Did you ever get lot. to fire the T-shirt cannon? They didn't have that back when I was doing. Yeah, it. see, that that, that was now. the bad old days. Yes. Yeah. The Lakers were. They were good. They were good at the time. They're not what they are now. I mean. Which yeah. which is bad. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah, no. Oh, the, the Lakers. The, no. So you're I, you're from LA then? I'm from LA. Actually, I'm from Orange County. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I call it I call it Salmon County. <laughs> you're silly. <laughs> have you ever been salmon fishing or any type of fishing at all? I have. I think I've been fishing when I was younger. I've always wanted to do fly fishing. Mm, Just, me too. Yeah. You've ever done it? No. Yes, I have. But I always want to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> fly fishing is really good because you do that yes. thing. Well, I think you sort of wrap it around. Oh, yeah. maybe you do. Sorry. Uh, you know, <laughs> you know who's really into fly fishing? Who? Henry Winkler, the fawns. Interesting. You wouldn't think the fawns would fish, but yeah, he does. He just goes, "Hey," and the fish jump out the river. <laughs> Like that's true. You're funny, Craig. No, no, not little really. Bit. I'm just desperate. A little bit a little, desperate. Little that's bit what it. Do it again. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So, so tell me, else? tell me about the falling skies. What's going on? You know, same thing. Sci-fi, aliens. Yeah, I get it's kidnapped. Scary, though. Yes, scary. I was pregnant during the show, so they had to, you know, I had to go home and have the baby. So I got right. kidnapped. You were pregnant in real life. Yes, and then I have a baby on the show, an alien baby. That's a coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> Now, you, your, very, own, yeah. your own baby is, of course, human, though. Very human. Right. But my baby on the show looks more Asian than my baby. My baby looks really Caucasian. I don't know what happened. <laughs> don't go there. No, <laughs> the log. Uh, no the log. I'm just saying. Uh, it's, no, it's, yeah. I didn't say a thing. So what age yeah. is your baby, then? She's uh, six months. Oh, so gosh, that's here. quite hard. Yeah, uh, that's yeah. quite a hard time. I'm just starting to sleep, but it's good. Really? At six months? That's yeah. not bad at all. I, I've got my youngest boy is two and okay. a half, actually. So did you put him in a crib? Did you let him cry it out? What would you do? Um, you, you try and let them cry it out, but you can't. You can't do it. It's like it. people say, ah, you got it. It's for their own good. And these people are called evil witches. <laughs> yeah. And then you say, it. oh, you mustn't cuddle them. And you go, I, if I don't cuddle them now, I'm never going to get to cuddle them because my other boy's 12 and he won't dream of letting me cuddle him. I, <laughs> he won't let you hold his hand or No, like no, Is none he embarrassed of, of you? Like, do you have to I drop I think I'm off? a little embarrassing, yeah. No, I think, uh, not you. Yeah, no, so I'll, tame. No, I think I'm a little embarrassing. That's good. You're kind of goofy, but that's a good thing. Uh, you not know. if you have a, a son who's on the edge of being a teenager. That's, oh, uh, so he, you're not cool. No, him. yeah, who's cool to that? I mean, like, you know, Nobody. Sting's kids think he's a, an idiot. You and know, Sting I mean, he's is kind of forever cool. Yeah, no, Sting, Sting is cool, I agree, but but even his kids would be like, Dad's not cool, he's just uh, Dad's Sting. Not oh, Sting, yeah, that's a great name, Dad. <laughs> uh, that name, I'm it's your first kid, though, isn't it? First kid, big deal. Yeah, that's the big change. After that, it's just, you know, more. It's not a big yeah. deal. <laughs>
Well, it's, it's just it's less of a change, you know. That's true. And you've got the stuff lying around, you know, the diapers and stuff. There's so much crap. Like, All of it, yeah, I know. There's so much crap. I know. This is crap, but I love it, and it's fun. I'm no, having it's a great good. time. Yeah, this What's is a your... big deal. This is like, I'm having fun. I'm out. I'm not home with Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. You probably don't go that much no. right now, yeah. <laughs> no, you go to bed early. Why didn't you go to a restaurant or something? Why come here? I know, because I want to see you. Yeah, I want to but... hang out. Well, I'm on TV. You can watch me on TV and go to a restaurant with your husband. Much better to be here with you. Yeah, well, thank you. You know. Yeah, it sounds a little less. <laughs> Anyway, we're out of time. That's uh, all we got. <laughs> do you want? I got you this Tenacious D album, though. Thank you. They yeah. are so funny. Thanks. Good luck, good everybody. We'll be right. My next guests can be seen at the award-winning Festival Supreme, which is a... Award-winning Festival Supreme, which is October the 19th at Santa Monica Pier, which was built after 1912. <laughs> They're here performing Throwdown. Please welcome the great Tenacious D, everybody! <laughs>